Hello everyone, today is the 22nd of May. Every year on this special day, we commemorate the International Day for Biological Diversity. Why is this day important, you may ask? It is important because it reminds us that we can all play a part in caring for our environment by protecting the plants and animals around us. This year's theme, Building a Shared Future for All Life, emphasises how young people just like yourselves have been helping to keep Singapore green and sustainable for future generations. During the COVID-19 pandemic, many of us enjoyed spending time in our green spaces, like our parks and gardens. We learned to better appreciate our native biodiversity, such as the birds, the butterflies, the dragonflies and mammals all around us. These animals are important because they support the ecosystems that provide us with fresh air, clean water and food. Our plants and trees are equally important. They help to cool our environment, provide food and habitats for wildlife and make Singapore a more pleasant place to live in. The National Parks Board and our partners in the community have been working together to conserve the living environments of our native animals in our city in nature. We use science to guide us in our approach to conserving our native biodiversity. We set out strategies and conduct research to protect important terrestrial and marine habitats, as well as plant and animal species in Singapore. In February 2021, we launched the Ecological Profiling Exercise to study our green spaces in Singapore, such as our nature parks and reserves, to better understand how they strengthen ecological connectivity and protect our biodiversity. Ecological connectivity refers to the linkages between habitats through our nature corridors. They help our animals move about and mingle more freely with each other, which helps them to thrive within our city-state. Now, based on the findings from our studies, we are establishing a new Labrador Nature Park network to improve the connectivity between Labrador Nature Reserve and its surrounding green spaces. Our studies also found ecological connections at Clementi and Bukit Batok, and so we will be establishing nature corridors at these areas to provide pathways for wildlife to move about freely. And parks will also continue to involve the public in our biodiversity conservation efforts as Singapore transforms into a city in nature. For example, under our Species Recovery Programme, we work closely with the community to restore habitats and help our native plant and animal species to recover. Equally important is learning how we can live with nature so that we can continue to enjoy the benefits of a balanced and sustainable ecosystem. To achieve this, we take a community and science-based approach to manage our wildlife, such as through outreach and education, to raise awareness on how we can live harmoniously with the wildlife on our island. We have and we will continue to develop new resources to share with the public on what they should do when they encounter wildlife. Now all of us, including students like you, can play our part in conserving our wildlife and plants, as well as learning how to live with nature. You would have received information on the activities organised under NPARC's Biodiversity Week for Schools. I would like to encourage you to sign up for them. Ten years ago, in 2013, a special Every Child a Seed programme was started to give our students a chance to grow their own plants from seeds. To celebrate the programme's 10th anniversary this year, our students will receive additional packets of seeds which they can use to grow edible plants. Each school will also receive native plant seeds to encourage an interest in our native biodiversity. By growing your own plants, you can play a part in shaping our city in nature. You can find out more at these links. We also invite all schools to join us in planting trees across Singapore, contributing to the One Million Trees movement, which aims to plant a million more trees by 2030. You can check out the link on the screen for more information. Last year, 
We also launched the Youth Stewards for Nature program for young Singaporeans who are passionate about the environment in conservation and horticultural projects under the mentorship of my NPARCS colleagues. You can find out more at this link. As this year's theme for International Day for Biological Diversity goes, let us work together to build a shared future for all life. We hope you're as excited as we are to do our part to transform Singapore into a city in nature.